araw again, madlang people. I'm back. Welcome to my channel. This is Bob. So, today, i-discuss natin yung duties and responsibilities of area commander from the agency. No, ano ba yung mga functions ng area commander? Uh, yung nagtanong nito, Sir Victor, ito na yung uh, nire-request nyo kung ano yung trabaho ng area commander. So, doon sa mga subscribers ko, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Doon sa mga magsusubscribe pa lang in advance, maraming salamat din sa inyo. So again, yung pinakamin topic natin today is that the duties and responsibilities of area commander. Sino ba si area commander? Sa Old Testament kasi. Old Testament. Sa Republic Act 5047 kasi, si area commander that is refers to kung sa ngayon is inspectorate. No? Inspector. So sa mga designing agency kasi, inspectorate. At sa area commander, isa lang yun. Operation officer, pag marami kang pira. Maliban sa operation manager, mayroon ka pang operation officer. No? Ibig sabihin, medyo malaki yung agency mo kasi kaya mo magbayad ng operation officer. Uh, ang designation is assistant by the operation manager kasi yun yung sa agency. So ngayon, ang i-discuss natin is that the duties, responsib duties and responsibilities of area commander. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng uh, posting nyo within that area no, kung siya yung i-assign ng operation manager nyo, ang tawag sa kanya ay area commander. Now, kung gusto niyang palitan yung pangalan mo, sabi niya inspector, uh, pwede rin. No? Ang tawag naman sa iyo ay inspector. Okay? So, uh, again, sit back and relax. And then, pag nagustuhan itong video na to, mag-subscribe, mag-like, and mag-share. And then, mag-request kung anong gustong topic yung i-discuss. Ang at kaya natin ay eh, i-discuss natin. Okay, so number one function ng area commander here is that responsible to director of security of the client and operations matters. So dapat pag area commander ka, ikaw yung responsible sa lahat ng operation matters doon sa director of security ng client nyo. Dapat mayroong uh, report ka. No? Kung may needs yung client mo, yung director of security mo regarding sa operations, dapat may bigay mo kaagad. Yet, so that is your number one uh, functions, no? Then number two is that renders periodic reports to the client or security director. So yung mga example nito is that yung monthly accomplishment report nyo. So dapat ginagawa mo yan and then to be sent or uh, forward to director of security. Ang sinasabi dito, periodic reports to the client security managers and directors. Okay? So, that is the number two. Number three is that exercise full operations and administrative control of his of all his units to include his detachment commander and security guard. So, dapat exercise mo. No? Gawin mo lahat ng uh, uh, authority mo no? para sa full operations. At saka yung pangalawa dito is administrative control. Ito yung Involved dito, safety policies, roles, and trainings. Dapat mayroon kang plans and programs uh, sa mga security personnel mo. So, for example, sa one year, uh, itong month na to, ito yung topic ng uh, training na iti-train ko sa mga security personnel ko. By next month, ito naman yung topic. Yan yung sinasabi natin, plans and programs. No? Regarding naman sa roles, no? gagawa ka ng roles, uh, policy and procedures, especially yung mga company na walang corporate security. I mean, walang organic security, yung direct sa company. So, ibig sabihin kayong mag-handle noon at saka yung HR kayong mag-uusap. So, gagawa ka ng policy and procedures and right after na-approve ng uh, HR nyo, implement mo. And then, during, your, during the implementations, no, na-observe mo na hindi working. So, pag-aralan mo ulit and then revise that policy and procedures. So, that is your number three functions area commander. Number four is that conduct unit inspections and institute corrective measures. Of course, dapat mayroon kang uh, schedule sa pag-inspection ng mga security personnel mo including your detachment commander. So, dapat ito is unsystematized para at least ma-surprise mo sila. Pag-systematize yan, ibig sabihin na paghahandaan ng detachments officer mo at saka security guards mo. So, dapat unsystematize yung pagkandak mo yun ng inspection. Para at least ma-observe mo na ganito pala yung ginagawa nila without your 
presence, no? So that is your number four functions. And then number five is account the daily attendance, appearance, bearing of this men. Yes, no? So, dapat i-account mo rin yung daily attendance, appearance, bearing, bearing of this men, no? And brief the before posting while permission. So, dapat, so on as possible, no? Maka-attend ka ng formation, lalo na doon sa mga malalaking detachment mo. Para at least, ma-supervise mo yung personal appearance ng security personnel mo. Yun ang mahalaga doon. Dahil kailangan mo laging 100% uh, uh, good performance to your client para ma-renew yung kongratan nyo. Ay kung pakangkang yung uh, uh, pakangkang ka na area commander, pakangkang din yung detachment officer mo, no, from DC to SIC, naku, baka hindi marirenew yung license mo. So, dapat, pag area commander ka or operations officer ka, trabaho mo to na bisitahin everyday or twice a week yung detach, malaking detachment mo para i-supervise yung guard master nila. Alright? So, pag ganun ang ginawa ng uh, area commander at saka operations officer, siguro matutuwa yung client niya. Uh, and then, number 5 is that speaks mo yung post. I can't to ensure his mental alertness and effective. Yun ang sinasabi ko. Post to post inspection. Very old practice siya, but it's very effective way. No. Kasi, doon mo kasi makikita, ladies and gentlemen. Eh. Let's say, for example, nag-inspection ka by post to post. No? And then, yung alertness ng security personnel mas mahina. Ganon din yung mangyayari pag mayroong guest. No? Pag ang security personnel may an alert lagi, puro complain din yung uh, buti mo. Uh, voting yung complaint, walang involve money matters. No? Ay kung mayroong involve. So, of course, ang agency mo magbabayad. Kasi si client, i-release transfer niya lang yan. Kaya nga kami kumuha ng agency para mayroong magbabayad pag mayroong lapses. Ganun lang yan. Risk transfer ang tawag nun. So, ang mangyayari, ang mangyayari, yung agency mo maging insurance company, hindi security agency. So, that's why, tandaan natin yan, area commander. At the same time, yung operation officers. No? Hindi po pwedeng uh, hindi mo bibisitahin yung uh, detachment uh, post mo. Pero, bago ka magbisita, dapat magpaalam ka muna sa client. No? Uh, pwede mo na namang email yan. Sir, magkanda kami ng post post inspection sa ganitong araw. Kung pumayag si client, that is your privilege. No? Pag hindi ka pumayag si client, eh, wala kang magagawa. At least, uh, mayroon ka ng reference na si client ayaw pumayag no uh, nag-request ka na mag-conduct ng post-to-post para sa alertness ng no? security personnel mo. And then, for example, mayroong nangyari. Uh, may nag-complain on alert yung security. Mayroong ka-reference ngayon. Sir, is, ay, nung nag-request ako kay, ano, kay client na inspection na sila everyday, hindi sila pumayag. So, that's why nangyari yung an alertness ng security personnel. No? So, mayroon ka na yung reference. Hindi ka mapigat ni client. No? At wali, mayroong mga legal implications yan. Pero masyadong malalim na yun. Dito lang tayo sa mababaw. Hindi naman tayo bugado. Okay? So, number 7 is that performs other duty as may directed by the operation manager. Now, kung ano yung sinasabi ng uh, operation manager mo, ay piperform mo. Kasi tingin mo is tama na makatulong sa uh, operations at din doon sa mga personnel mo. At wali, ladies and gentlemen, if we're talking about the area command, Area Commander means is from the security agency. No? Uh, kung nagtitipid kayo, pwede si inspector yan, pwede yung area commander yan, pwede si operation officer yan. Dati, area commander, in-upgrade nila, inspector, and then yun, ginawa na nilang operation officers. Yun talaga yung dapat trabaho ni area commander, operations officer, and then inspectorate. Okay? So, number 8 is that prepares and execute the officers in charge. Officer in charge security plan in relation to the client establishment and security requirements. No? So, pag mag-visit ka doon sa detachment portion nyo, pag-aralan mo yung security requirements ng detachment na yun. Ano ba yung kailangan dito? Kasi for example, uh, palagay natin 5-star hotel. Pag ikaw yung operation officer, dapat hanapan ko ng mga, mga matatangkad na security personnel no? yung uh, hotel na yan kasi yun yung requirements niya dapat uh, matangkad no? and then uh, fluent uh, magsalita no? uh, magaling sa guest engagement so yun lang naman yung uh, requirements ni 
For example, yung mga 5 star hotel. So, dapat yun lagi yung kriteriya mo pag nag-recruit ka ng security personnel. And then, to be sent to the client for interview. No? So, huwag mong padalhan yung client nung uh, mga security personnel na sa tingin mo, eh, hindi pa pasa. Ito, tip lang sa inyo. Um, sa tip lang sa mga operations officer natin. No? And then, doon sa mga RIA commander. So, isa sa mga trabaho natin yan. Dapat alamin natin kung ano yung security requirements ni client. Okay? Para at least, sabi ko nga kanina, yung kontrata nyo is laging marirenew. Uh, dahil pag mahina ka dyan, mahina kayo mag-anticipate sa ganong mails, eh, di 100%. No? Kung hindi ka lang malakas, is hindi rin marirenew yung agency mo. Okay? So, number nine is that hold the office in the daytime, but shall also organize shift as deems as necessary. Okay? So, kailangan mo isupervise during uh, daytime, and then kailangan mo din isupervise during nighttime. O yan ako, sir, ang gagawin ko, mag-24 hours ako po, yan, hindi, hindi nyo na ibig sabihin. Nighttime, pag mandoon ka, may mga officers ka naman eh. Nighttime, no? mga officers mo yung pagalawin mo. And during your absence, Mayroong officers ka pa rin. Dapat mayroong main contact ka. Kamusta dyan? Ano dyan? Anong balita dyan? Dapat gano'n. Lalo na ngayon, uh, napakadaling mag-communicate. Maraming uh, mode of communication. Messenger, WhatsApp, Telegram. So, maraming way. No? At then, during daytime, so ikaw na yun. No? Andun ka. So, kailangan mo yung, kailangan mong i-oversee yung uh, detachment mo, office mo. Kung andun ka. Kung wala naman, dapat mayroon ka Uh, officers na mag take over during your absence. Okay? So that's very simple. And then number 10 is that receives and implements instruction from the client or security or director of security managers and supervisors representative. Hanggang dito na lang ng people and then doon sa mga officers natin and then doon sa nag-request sa topic na to. May part 2 tayo. So this is the part 1. Uh, part 2 medyo, medyo mahaba kasi maraming uh, duties and responsibilities si area commander. Siguro by part 2 i-discuss natin. So again, pag nagustuhan itong video na ito, mag-subscribe, mag-like, mag-share, mag-comment. No? And then, uh, mag-request kung anong gustong topic na i-discuss para uh, i-discuss natin hanggat kaya po. So hanggang dito na lang muna yung part 1 natin. And I'll be out and I'll be back for another interesting topic.